12 months. Today, a battle of world champions in women's figure skating. Debbie Thomas, reigning world champion Katarina Witt. Can she defend her Olympic title? On the road to Calgary. I'm your host, Barry Tompkins. Along with field correspondent, Greg Lewis. Brought to you by Visa, the official card and traveler's check for the 1988 Olympic Games. By Rolex Watch, Rolex, the watch of excellence. And by Plymouth, the prides inside every Plymouth. Designed in and built in, Plymouth, the prides inside. This is the Olympic Saddle Dome near downtown Calgary, where final preparations are being made for the Winter Olympic Games, which come to town in February. Hello, everybody. I'm Barry Tompkins, and welcome to the road to Calgary. The beauty and grace of women's figure skating belies an intense competition, headlined this year by two world champions who come to town to this arena to fight for one medal. Katharina Witt of the German Democratic Republic and Debbie Thomas of the United States. Their backgrounds, literally a world apart. Their goal, a common one. And if they should lose so much as an edge, right behind them, about a half a step, are Karen Kadavy of the United States and Elizabeth Manley of Canada, certain to be a local favorite. Figure skating, a beautiful sport with a most lucrative reward. While the competition's prices are rising, the price of a new Plymouth Reliant is coming down. Introducing the 88 Plymouth Reliant America. We're doing what no one else is, adding equipment and reducing the price. So you save $13.69, plus you get the 770 protection plan. Compare Reliant America at $69.95, and the competition is priced out of sight. Plymouth Reliant America. It's the best value in its class. Plymouth, the pride's inside. Two world champions and the hometown favorite fight for Olympic gold when the road to Calgary continues after this word from your local station. Hi. Hi. So, where are we going? Um, anywhere. I could pick a place. You brought a book? The phone book? Uh, we could rent a limo. I don't believe you brought the phone book. <laughs> or we could go to a fish hatchery. A fish hatchery? Hey, I use that all the time. Of course, I don't carry it around with me. Later, coach. Later, pal. He's your pal? Nah. The Bell of Pennsylvania Yellow Pages. It's everything a directory should be. I've dedicated my life to gymnastics. In the 1984 Olympics, that dedication was rewarded. Hi, I'm Bart Connor. I won the gold, but with all my dedication, I couldn't have made it without good equipment and training. And that takes money. For our athletes to compete effectively, we need your generous support. Donations to the U.S. Olympic team can be made by calling this toll-free number, 1-800-VISA-USA. Won't you help make dedication pay off? Calgary's Olympic Saddle Dome, where any one of five women figure skaters could win at the 88 Games. It could be the elegant Katarina Vick, current world and defending Olympic champion. Or the charismatic Debbie Thomas, who defeated Vitt at the 86 World Championships. Or the vivacious Jill Trenary, who beat Thomas at the 87 U.S. National Championships. Or the classical Karen Kadavy, whose strong third at the 87 Worlds showed championship potential. Or the dynamic Elizabeth Manley, who could skate the performance of her life when lifted by the applause of her Canadian countrymen. At a time when Elizabeth Manley was struggling, Coach Peter Dunfield saw something others did not. What I saw was what, not what I envisioned. I talked to her, and I, f I found that in, in her experiences and in her, her voice and desire, there was a great, great potential, untapped potential, and I felt that she could really do it. 
That summer and that fall were very productive, and that winter she made the Olympic team, which was amazing. There is nobody in Canada in her league. Elizabeth trains and lives amidst the small city ambiance of Ottawa. And that's just fine with her. A lot of people feel I'm biased about all, you know, about my love for Ottawa. I've been everywhere in the world, and like, I've been a lot of places in Canada, and it's not because I live here, but I love Ottawa. It's, it's beautiful. It's like being in the country, right dead center downtown. We have the canal, the Parliament Hill. It's full of parks, and I just, I love Ottawa. There's a lot of things you can do here. It's always a go get em city. There's always something to do. You never feel bored, and like I said, you can feel like you're in the country right downtown. I am recognized here in Ottawa for figure skating all the time and it's mainly because Ottawa does not have a lot of very big athletes like Toronto would produce 10 or 15 skiers or something like that alone. The Olympics being in Calgary in my home country is going to be an advantage for me. It's going to be an advantage for our entire Canadian team. A lot of people feel that that's too pressure building, that the crowd makes us uptight in that, but I don't take it in that way. I take it the opposite way. I take it that they want me to do well, and they only want a good performance out of me. And I almost look at my performances now as a show, and being in front of my home country will be just phenomenal to skate, and it'll be great. This crowd-pleasing 22-year-old looked like she was ready to medal at the last World Championships and might have, but for a man who plies his trade at the Broadmoor Arena in Colorado Springs. Carlo Fossi, molder of four Olympic champions, has amongst his latest medal candidates, Karen Kadavy, Manley's conqueror at the World Championships, who shares ice time and Fossi wisdom with another world-class teenager, Jill Trenery. Trenery came from a Minneapolis suburb at Kadavy from Erie, Pennsylvania to train under the master, even though their coach gets paid handsomely for his efforts, you don't choose Fosse. Fosse chooses you. The first time I saw Jill uh, was in a competition in um, Southwestern, and I came on the ring that struck me because she looked exactly like Dorothy Amo. I mean, I couldn't believe it. it was, the way she was skating. So she struck me really as a very athletic skater, very strong. I think I'm fairly good to see on some of the skaters what I think can be the future of them. Being a world-class figure skater often means giving up home and family at an early age. Jill lives in Colorado with legal guardians Patty and Bob Mars. When I decided to take it seriously, Seriously, is when I moved away from home. I think that's the biggest step. I mean, because that's a big sacrifice to move away from your family. When I decided to move to Colorado Springs, um, Eddie and her husband Bob were just willing to have me move in and just kind of take me in as a as a daughter and to really, you know, care for me and take care of me, make sure I eat the right things, you know, make sure I don't stay up too late, those kind of things. And you know, they they just really have become my surrogate family. It's, it's as close to a family as I could ever think of. I always make these, and I end up For the Olympics, it would be great to win. I mean, that would be fabulous. And between now and, and then, I just really have to train hard. It really starts now. It doesn't start that week. It starts now. There are lots of ways to pull for the U.S. Olympic team. The easiest is when you pull out your Visa card. Because whenever you use Visa, we'll make a donation to the team. So pull for the team. And if you go to the 88 Winter Olympics in Calgary, bring your camera and your Visa card. Because the Olympics don't take place all the time, and this time the Olympics don't take American Express. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. Rich breast turkey, so lean, so light. Slice it for tonight. Wow, turkey! For tomorrow. Wow, turkey! Anytime, carved and cooked whole from the bird. Its natural shape says it's juicy and delicious. Lewis Rich makes turkey so easy, so tonight. Mmm, turkey! So luscious, so light. It took Lewis Rich to make turkey so right. A man who has molded Olympic champions for 20 years when the road to Calgary continues. Multiple data systems. 
duplication of effort, low efficiency. Yet a limited budget says no new equipment, no expensive rewiring, no way to tie them all together. Enter Bell Atlantic with a brilliant low-cost solution. Using existing phone lines and our Centrex local network, we made integrated data transport an affordable reality. The companies of Bell Atlantic, we make technology work for you. Once upon a time in the land of supermarkets, there lived a giant, and he made some mighty big claims. There is absolutely one way to shop for food. But the people grew disenchanted. Weekly special, go Until one day, they saw the light. Shop and save! And everyone shopped happily ever after. When it comes to saving money, shop and save wrote the book. Peggy Fleming's Lighter Than Air 1968 Olympic Triumph brought figure skating master craftsman Carlo Fossi his first great coaching fame after he competed for years as Italy's preeminent skater. Fossi immigrated to the United States in 1960. Over the past 20 years, he's coached four Olympic champions. He had back-to-back -back men's champions with John Curry and Robin Cousins. And in 1976, he had double gold medalists when Dorothy Hamill won the women's title. Fossey's passionate, some would say compulsive attention to detail is evident on and off the ice. I have many of them, unfortunately. My wife said I have too many. Um, I have a stamp collector, which I have a fairly good stamp collection. I like to build Mothership, which I did some fairly good. But now I can't do it anymore because I don't see too well. And four years ago, I started to play golf, and that's killed all my other hobby. We play golf all the time, from morning to night, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> you are not like that. You are all like this when you are there, leaning in. If stay on that hip, and then go down, go to the system. Come on. Sometimes it's wonderful to see a, uh, even Every day, on an everyday work, you see a little girl, uh, two days ago, a little girl that came from Finland and couldn't do a double axel, and suddenly, bum, the first double axel. You can see the smile and the really, the, I did it, you know? And I think this is probably the, the most rewarding uh, thing that, uh, that um, I think every teacher can have that, uh, that feeling and that okay. rewarding. Sometimes it's disappointing. You work in one year and the girl is doing beautifully, and, uh, and it goes there and bang, everything fell apart. That's part of the job. <laughs> One who didn't fun. fall apart, Karen Kadavy. Exactly. I made it to Midwesterns in Junior okay. Ladies my first year in 1984. Up, yeah. And at that competition, Carlo Fossi was there. And after that, I did not make it to nationals. And I've been trying for so many years, and it just seems so hard. And Carlo Fossi gave me a call after the competition and invited me to come out and train with him, and he wanted to teach me. I've been training with him now for three years, and it's been great. Look, don't drop the shoulder. You know, I... I I think of myself like more making champion than fighting. I, the example I think was uh, Caron. I saw this girl and uh, contrary to all the opinion of all the coach that uh, who were at that time at that competition, I thought the girl has potential and I really talked to the parents and she came here and I think that was a girl that probably nobody thought could never do anything. Two years after she was uh, on the world team, three years after she was 13 world. I feel that the person who's going to go out there and do that consistent, long program, clean, no mistakes, is going to be the winner. Karen's search for those four minutes of perfection has meant a nomadic life. While her dad works in Erie, Pennsylvania, her mother, a former ballet dancer, attends to her needs in Colorado Springs. My mom is uh, one of my best friends, and she's been with me through my skating. She's been the one who moved with me from the start when I was 13. And she's there for me anytime and is really a big help. She's helped me so much. Karen and I are best friends, and we have a lot of fun together. We have um, mother and daughter fun, also teenage fun. Karen helps with my hair, we go shopping together, 
Um, we love looking at clothes, makeup, all those girly things. <laughs> wow. It's glamorous. <laughs> it looks great. Skating's been a part of my life for a long time. It's like going to, to college and not finishing up your, for your last year. And this is how it is in my skating. I feel this is the last point of my career and to give it my best shot is the most important right now. To graduate, however, takes a family effort. I firmly believe that without our strong uh, faith in God, we could not have done what we have done as far as living apart as a family, as far as your financial struggles, um, when you do have an aspiring star, champion, etc. And I know that our uh, faith in God has really helped tremendously in the last three to four years that we've been away from home and without him we couldn't have done it rolex presents an olympic remembrance with jean-claude keely after winning two gold medals only the two runs of the slalom kept him from a third gold medal at the 1968 grenoble olympics standing in the uh, starting gate you're ready to ski for the last time in the olympic games I felt fairly relaxed because I already had two gold medals. And all of a sudden, the fog lifted just for me, and the sun came out. It was just unbelievable. It was just uh, like a sign of, of destiny or something like that. And I skied it very relaxed. So after the first run, I had a small lead. And for the second run, the fog rolled in again. And we all skied in the same weather conditions. So I skied that second one well. And all I had to do then was to wait at the finish line to find out if I'd won my third gold medal, like Tony Sider. At the peak of his form, one skier lives a legend. Jean-Claude Killy, the edge of excellence downhill. High performance in deep powder. His challenge, the pressure to excel. His triumphs, three crowns of Olympic gold. His timepiece, Rolex GMT Master. The defending Olympic champion, can she do it again? We'll see when the road to Calgary continues after this word from your local station. Just give me honest work at honest pay, honest sweat from honest play, and when I'm through, that's when I'll say, I want my clean as real as I breathe, gotta be 99.44, I want my clean as real as I breathe, nothing less, nothing more, I want my clean as real as I breathe, it's gotta be pure, that's for sure, I want my clean as real as I breathe. Why is this man being so unfair to his wife? Enjoying his cold relief while she suffers, feeling no desire to sneeze while she stifles hers, without all the coughs and the runny nose that torture her night, resting in the same bed where she tosses and turns. Why? Because while she took a cold tablet, he took NyQuil. The nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, stuffy head fever so you can rest medicine. Now a new cherry flavor, too. World-class figure skater Debbie Thomas has come to Boulder to train for gold for the 1988 Olympic Games. I do like the move that we've made. It's, it's been the best thing that could have possibly happened to me. I feel so much more relaxed, I think, than if I had been at Stanford. I would have been trying to do pre-med and I would have been really stressed about the courses. The lateral collateral is strong. You don't have any torn uh, ligaments. You have no torn cartilage. I'm taking a general sports medicine course. It's a grad school course. The prevention and management of sports injuries, which is really fun, and uh, beginning German, which I'm having a blast doing. <laughs> I'll be able to speak to Katerina a little bit. That's Katerina Witt, her East German rival. I love languages, and I, there's a lot of languages that I want to learn. When I was on the tour last year, Sergei Ponomarenko was helping me with Russian, so that's how I learned how to read it a lot better. I created the Russian font on my computer so that I could write to him on my computer. Please. 
Four. Now, Alex five. McGowan, Debbie's coach Good. for almost a decade, has made the move to Colorado Four. with her. Debbie Thomas is, is a very independent Four. Four five, person. She likes to get her own way a lot, so I have to clamp down on her a little bit on that. But a strong will and to do schooling and skating uh, no, against that, all odds uh, that was good. mainly put her where she is on the back camel when you when you uh, at times she's too independent being too independent um, probably cost her both her titles last now. year i'm head case and <laughs> i have a hard time dealing with olympic syndrome and i'm still working on it and i'm gonna fight it and try and get through this it's not that long i mean this year is gonna fly by and if I can just hold it together these last few months, then I'll be fine. When you're still in the training phases, everything frustrates you. When you can't do something, it's just frustrating. You just, you just want to scream. You go from nothing, and you just keep working, and you keep falling, and you fall, and then all of a sudden you're doing it, and you land it, and you all of a sudden you're doing your program. And It'll come, but I just got to be patient with it. Basically, this year's program is sort of Debbie showing everybody how artistic she can really be, <laughs> because I feel like I haven't been, I don't know, viewed fairly on my artistic side, just because I know I'm capable of a lot more. And after we started working with uh, the dancer, George de la Pena, all of a sudden we started seeing a lot of things come out of me. He would tell me what to feel rather than what to do. And that helped me a lot. Not only did it just help the way it looked, but it even helped with my big combination jump at the beginning because all of a sudden I was attacking it like a tiger instead of thinking of it as, oh God, here comes triple toe, triple toe, you know. So basically, watch out people. If I go clean on this program. <laughs> yeah! The Olympics is something that is the, it's sort of like a final thing for me. Um, I've already been a national champion. I've already been a world champion. I've never been an Olympic champion. And Olympics not only means a lot to me, but it means a lot to our country. And we haven't had a ladies' champion since Dorothy Hamill. And I really feel, with the way things are going, that I have the best shot to do that again. This defending Olympic champion stands in Debbie's way. When electrifying East German Katarina Witt won back her world title from Thomas in 87 on American turf, Debbie acknowledged, that girl's amazing. I may appear to be relaxed and loose, while inside, I'm tense, fluttering, and excited. But then, when I go out on the ice, and my music starts, or I hear applause directed at me, my tension subsides. Gradually, the excitement passes, and I try to forget that it's a competition, and to concentrate on the people, and simply put on a good show. I think every woman likes to flirt with young men, and I've tried to bring that out on the ice. And it's fun, too. That is, I try to appeal to the people, the audience, and I often find it easier to interpret the music if I pick out certain people to look at and flirt with as I'm skating. I began skating when I was five. My kindergarten was right here close to the skating rink. We used to come here often in groups to watch, and I liked it so much that I began to nag my parents and say, oh, there must be room for me. At first, however, my parents didn't have much time for it. But I wanted it so badly that finally, one day, they came over here with me, and I was able to get started and made my first steps on the ice at the age of five. I came to Mrs. Mueller when I was nine, she discovered me. She must have seen a little talent in me, and she let me join in her training group. I have Mrs. Muller to thank for everything, for everything I've accomplished on the ice. I also believe, and many will agree with me, that she's the best coach in the world. 
Katarina's singular talent and beauty have made her a beloved national hero while attracting Western interest as well. But she hasn't let offers to model for American magazines distract her from the task at hand. There is a great deal of competition. To start with, Debbie Thomas, Karen Kadavy, Jill Trenary, and the Soviet athletes, Kara Ivanova or Anna Kondrashova, or the Canadian, Elizabeth Manley. The Olympic Games will be held in her native country, so I expect strong competition from there. There are really quite a few of us who have a good chance at a medal, or even at the gold, and the best of us will once again prove themselves. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who'll be the best of them all? It could be Trenary, Kadavy, Manley, or Thomas, but the favorite has to be the defending champion, the truly amazing Katarina Witt. Plymouth Sundance, the Prides Inside, designed in and built in. Prides in the performance, precision handling, front-wheel drive, fuel-injected turbo. Prides in its quality, backed for seven years or 70,000 miles. 47 quality standard features. Plymouth Sundance, the Prides Inside, before your inside. The Prides Inside, born in America. The Road to Calgary will be back with more after this word from your local station. But why your book? I already have an ad in the yellow pages. Okay, okay, I'll think about it. I'm in the Bell of PA book. Do I really need an ad in another one? Can you get that, Joyce? Okay, let's figure this out. Are people really going to use two books for things? Ah, uh, that's stupid. They'll only use one. That's the whole point. I only need to be in the one people use. Bill, I need the phone book. The Bell of Pennsylvania Yellow Pages, the one that works. WTAE-TV welcomes the world-famous Harlem Globetrotters for one performance only Wednesday, December 30th at the Civic Arena. Watch as they dazzle you with their hilarious brand of basketball magic. See the shots, the dunks, the passes, and the dribbling that made them famous. Plus, you'll be helping out a lot of needy people because part of the proceeds will benefit Project Bundle Up. Tickets are available at all Choice Seat locations or charged by phone. Don't miss the Globetrotters on WTAE-TV night, December 30th at 7.30. Join us again as we bring you more stories of the determined resolve, the dedication and daring of those men and women who dream of becoming Olympic champion. Share their dream on the road to Calgary. Brought to you by Plymouth, the prides inside every Plymouth. Designed in and built in, Plymouth, the prides inside. By Visa, the official card and traveler's check for the 1988 Olympic Games. And by Rolex Watch. Rolex, the watch of excellence. Why is this man breathing like he left us cold at someone else's house? Taking the time to read a book instead of reaching for a tissue. Relaxing in his favorite chair with muscles that no longer ache. Laughing instead of coughing. Resting instead of suffering. Why? Because instead of taking a cold tablet, he took NyQuil. A nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, stuffy head fever so you can rest medicine. Now a new cherry flavor too. When the Steelers and the Oilers game is over, the hard questions begin. And that's when you can turn to Steelers Extra. Stan Saverin will have complete game highlights and feature the key plays and players. Plus, there'll be a complete wrap-up of all the games played around the league. And Myron Cope will share his comments. 
So for the sports fan who wants a little more insight, don't miss Steelers Extra Sunday night at 1120 here on Channel 4 WTAE-TV.